So um, let's start with something called an N95 respirator. These are designed to block out 95% of viral particles. These are for healthcare workers and first responders only. They need to go on with one at the top of your head and one at the bottom of your neck. And you need to be fit tested for these. If there's not an airtight seal basically around your face, they don't work. So this is not one size fits all. Next is the surgical mask, which I have because I perform GYM surgery. This is meant to keep viral particles in. In the operating room setting, surgeons uh, like myself wear these not for our protection, but for the patient's protection. They don't contaminate the patient. So these kind of masks are not to protect the person wearing them. This bandana, which now could be used according to the CDC as a cloth face shield, if covering the nose and mouth, the idea behind this is that it might block viral particles in someone who has COVID-19, has no symptoms or is asymptomatic, doesn't know it, and is talking, laughing, coughing, breathing, singing, anything, so that the viral particles just can't go into the environment. So these types of masks are in short supply. They are under the PPE category. So it would be wonderful if there were 330 million um, of these for everyone, but there aren't. So basic bandana or anything you make at home, a cloth face mask um, as recommended by the CDC may, underscore may help uh, prevent the spread of coronavirus. So hopefully that helps clear things up. Uh, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy.